So here it is, Royal Enfield Classic 350. Is this possibly the world's worst bike? Here we go. So, uh, welcome back to the channel. Actually, go cancel that. We'll, uh, we'll do that in a minute. Oh, brakes, brakes. Brakes are a bit iffy. Now, this is going to be dodgy as, isn't it? Look at this. Welcome to Cambridge. Might be better off turning left and then doing a, doing a right, because that is going to be carnage. How are you supposed to get out of here? So welcome back to the channel everybody and uh, as you can see I'm on a World Enfield Classic Check this out I'm in uh, Cambridge and uh, it's absolute carnage here because you've got cycling routes and all types of stuff going on It's mental Anyway, um, yes you've got uh, the all year motorcyclers to uh, thank you for this um, I've gone down the rabbit hole of the Royal Enfield so I thought I'll check this out take one for a test ride see what all the uh, what all the the fuss is about why everyone is rating these bikes and absolutely loving them the guy's giving me a route and i'm obviously following the route in my my head and my sat nav so uh, he said that this is the best route to go get the best out of the bike this is a brand new bike so i've got to take it easy because uh it needs running in and uh so far so good um Brakes are a bit uh, bit sketchy so far, but uh, then again, you know, you've got to get dialed in, haven't you? Back brake is brilliant. The the first thing I've noticed, and uh, it's what people have said before, uh, other people, is the gear uh, lever. You can see down there, I've got quite big feet. I've got size 11 feet, and um, it's quite hard to uh, change gear at the minute, but apparently you can change that. So I'm guessing when you buy the bike, you just tell the guys, and they will uh, change the lever for you. But uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Yeah, so here's, uh, here's what I've got to test ride. I've got about 20 minutes to take it out. It's just a quick one. I apologize now to everybody that rides at Royal Enfields. I've trolled you in the farm now, I'm sorry. Um, this isn't the world's worst bike. Everybody that has ridden these has said that these are possibly the best bikes. Uh, back road bikes on the road and um, and everybody loves them. I've, I've not seen a video where anybody has slated these bikes. They are um, that everybody just loves them. Everybody who rides them just absolutely loves them. So um, yeah we'll go I'll get back on the bike and uh, we shall go a bit further and uh, yeah we'll have, we'll have a chat about it. It's uh, yeah so far all right. Uh, move these mirrors, that would probably help wouldn't it Jim? Move the mirrors so you can see what the hell's going on. Mirrors ain't too bad so far, a little bit of vibration. Right, let's uh, take off. So I'll be interested to see how this performs. Um, obviously it's only got 20 brake horsepower and I've got to keep this one uh, around about the 50 mark. That's about the top speed I can take it because obviously it's still getting run in. Uh, and I just wanted to see how this would perform. Would it would it perform like a one two five? And I haven't ridden a one two five in absolute years, so it'd be interesting to see would this bike feel slow? Because I've got a speed triple, um, so obviously you know it is going to feel sp uh, slow in the acceleration. But it, real well though, is it going to feel slow on the road? And so far, I, I've got to say no. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm pooching around suburbia at the minute at 30 miles an hour and um, you've got to say they, these are pretty cool bikes. I think if I was going to get one, I like shiny things, so I'd probably go for the chrome. In fact, I would say, yeah, I, I would go for the chrome. They do do a Royal Signal one called the Signal. Now, I would consider getting one of those because I actually was in the Royal Signal, so that would be quite cool. But... Uh, Yes, so far, yeah, it's quite funny. It's quite fun to ride. The other reason for looking at something like this is because of uh, the injuries that I sustained in my uh, car crash. So uh, I can't have anything too heavy and where I have a stoma, my stomach injuries, um, I can't 
I can't uh, maneuver stuff or move stuff around so um, that's a bit of an issue so that's why I thought oh something like this a bit lighter a bit more of an upright riding position so a bit more comfortable for my belly and um, yeah and I've heard that you can go you can take these things touring it's absolutely mental isn't it let's have a look here we go right I've got to turn right here it's funny because when you come off the gas end it feels like it's uh like you're losing all power completely <laughs> i'll tell you what i have noticed going around some of the corners and that it holds the road really well <laughs> the tires are because some people said the tires are uh, not very confidence inspiring and then uh, other people have said yeah there's nothing wrong with them from uh, a lot of the royal enfield channels that i've watched or people that have covered royal enfields on their channels and uh, to, to be honest yeah can't complain but then again you're not going at breakneck speeds are you so you're not really pushing the uh, tires to the limit and the bike itself is is so maneuverable so, some people i saw on there when they reviewed it they said it was um too heavy and to be honest uh compared with my speed triple i've got a 1997 speed triple i wouldn't say that this is heavy or if it is it doesn't feel like it is especially when you're on the move let's go around these speed humps good maneuverability to avoid the uh, speed humps and the potholes that are everywhere in the UK at the minute tell you what I'm going to spin it around in here and uh, turn around and look at this low speed doing a huge look at that uh, that's cool isn't it Ooh, sharp sat nav so I've got to say well I've got th over 30 years experience of riding motorcycles and with my, my short little ride that I've got here I've got to say it's comfy as it'll be interesting to see just how comfy that saddle is a lot of people say yeah you can easily do 200 miles in the saddle without um, getting worn out and uh, this is I've got to say it is fun to ride I think I think if you're after saying no well not going to say no frills because that's uh, giving the bike a disservice but uh, everybody who's said that this bike is great I think I'd have to agree with them it's um looks good everybody looks at it when you uh, when you're riding along or stop and uh it goes really it goes well for a little 350 single i reckon you could do some i reckon i could do some serious touring on this i won't be able to do it on the speed triple but i reckon you could have an absolute blast on this yeah loving it I haven't had the chance to take it on a dual carriageway, but from what people have said, this will easily cruise at 60 miles an hour, which is fine by me. You can sit there, you, 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 that's enough to, you know, either sit behind a lorry or overtake a lorry. I'd rather overtake the lorry. But uh, yes, yeah, great little thing. It'd be interesting to see how this um, rides with two people, two up, uh, with a pillion on the back. That would that'd be interesting to see, see if it affects the power or not. I don't think it, do, it does. Uh, listening to other people's channels um, because it's so detuned and all the power's down low and that I don't think it would make much of a difference to be honest so before I go I just want to apologise to everybody who's got Royal Enfield so I'm sorry I trolled you there with the thumbnail or anybody who's clicked on it expecting me to slate this motorcycle there ain't that many motorcycles out there that are truly terrible and uh, this is not one of them this is a great little bike um, if you wanted to look a bit classy and you've just passed your test, I'd definitely uh, get one of these. You ain't going to get yourself in trouble and um, you can enjoy it to boot as well. So with that being said, I think I'm going to end this video here with me rambling on. I'm just going to enjoy the ride. So if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, smash that red subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notifi no, notification bell. That way every time this idiot uploads a video, you get notified. And that, my friends, is Jim Diesel out. Yeah, sorry if I uh, trolled you there with the thumbnail. And uh, now this is a great little bike, I think. Yeah, it's a possible that, you, yeah. I'll oh, cancel all of that. <laughs>